How about we do a new tool video? Let's get to it. All right, up first, we got some master cylinder adapters. Now, these are made to adapt to a master cylinder on your vehicle so that it can help you uh, bleed your brakes all by yourself. Pop these caps on, pressurize it with something like this. In fact, this goes with this kit. This is also made by Aries. And as you can see, I have a whole master cylinder adapter kit. This is a 12 piece made by Aries. So I got these originally, these two. You can see it comes with a bunch of uh, adapters but um, this one is one of the ones that it came with for Hondas but it doesn't work perfectly for many Hondas um, for a lot of the newer Hondas uh, you need uh, either a 55 millimeter or a 74 millimeter and that's why I got these uh, let's see I believe the part number of this one is 18005 and it says let's see BC as in Bravo Charlie dash 26 on that one and then this one, you can see they're both marked Honda. These are specifically for Hondas. Uh, 18004 on this, and then BC25. Uh, so you can see, you just take these, there's a pin that we can pop out right there, and then it opens up like that. And so we just take this, press it down into your master cylinder. You can see it's got some O-rings right there. And then once you have that, you seal this, and this will grab the top of the edge of the cap there, or grab the top of your master cylinder. And then you just put the pin in like that. And then we hook it up. Where's the end of it? We hook it up like this with our quick coupler, like that, and we pump it up. Just pump it up, you know, keep it in the blue there, and you're fine. And I don't even put brake fluid in here. I just keep the brake fluid in the master cylinder and all you got to do is pump this up and then go to the whichever corner of the vehicle you want to um, bleed and just crack the bleeder. I usually put a tube on it into a into a container and then you can just open it up and it'll bleed out. You, you can do it all by yourself which is pretty nice. But these I've already used, I used the smaller one, the 55 millimeter one already and they work great. Um, they seal much better than these plastic ones although these work okay but uh, I definitely like these metal ones where they clamp around so that's why I got them uh, if you own Hondas these are the ones you want along with this you don't even need this kit so anyway let's see what else we got oh and I almost forgot these are made in Taiwan all right up next we got some pads for lifting equipment specifically jacks and jack stands so this one is made to go on top of your jack as long as you have one that'll fit and you can see it has the grooves plus it's a heavy thick metal right or I'm sorry plastic right there and not definitely not metal um, but this is good for your pinch welds if you need to uh, jack it up right on the pinch weld for some reason um, or if you just need an extra thick pad put it on the end of your jack there jack it up protect the surface um, I was working on an old hot rod the other day and I definitely didn't want to mar it up and I did not have something like this. I had to improvise and so that's why I ended up getting this. Um, in addition, it also made me think of uh, covers for jack stands. Oh, do I have the... You know what? I don't see a part number on this. Just made in China part. And uh, But th these are made in uh, made in the USA part number 964 these are from Ernst manufacturing these are jack stand covers you can see they just go right on the top of your jack stands um, I hope they fit uh, the new um, war uh, how do you say it Hein Warner I always forget that I don't know why I can't remember that but Hein Warner um, jack stands that I got um, these are supposed to hopefully fit right on top not sure they'll fit the six ton, but they should fit the three ton. Well, let's grab one and find out. All right, got them out of the package. You get four of them, and they're supposed to just slip right over the top. See if it fits. Uh oh, maybe they don't fit. Eh, kind of tight, but they fit. And then that should stretch down like that. They kind of they fit like a glove. That works nice. There's no way these are going to fit on the 6-ton, though. All right, here, this is from the 6-ton Heinwerner jack stand, and you can clearly see this is not going to fit. Not even close. So that's all right. It'll work on. I have 
four of these and so I got four of these it'll work perfect on the uh, three ton jack stands but it'll definitely it won't fit on these Heinwerner six tons maybe on some other versions of six tons they might fit ones that are not as beefy but it's not gonna work on these um, let's go see if this fits on my jack all right as you can see I have the three ton Daytona the DJ 3000 from this is from Harbor Freight I love this jack it's a copy of the snap-on um, jack that thing is awesome I love it but as you can see that's not gonna work I mean I suppose you could just set it on there and it will probably work you could probably lift it up but there is a little bit of a gap right here and so if you put it on there like that there would definitely be a gap that's gonna press down so I, I don't recommend using it that way like that however I got the old Arcan had this jack for a while and you see that one just fits right over it like a glove that ab absolutely fits perfect like it was made for it so this is definitely where I'm gonna use it right here all right up next we got a thread checker actually the original thread checker uh, let's see I'm not sure if that is the actual part number right there I'll show it to you it doesn't say where it's made um, this has both the SAE and metric and it's supposed to be a complete set I'm not sure if it has every single nut and bolt size that you will come across but um, this version is supposed to be pretty darn complete I know they have smaller versions of this where there's not as many um, but this one is supposed to be you know as they say a complete set um, let's get it open see if there's any more info okay there they are opened up you can see they came in two different bags one for metric one for standard and they, they come on this cable like this it's got a little loop so you can just kind of hang it up and they'll just hang wherever you want right there just like that you can see all the different sizes this has um, and so yeah you can just put the bolt on one side or you can put the nut on the other side just to check the size and then they clearly have the sizes they're stamped I can feel that it's stamped and then it's got some white paint in there to um, make it stand out so that's kind of nice so that should not wear off the paint might wear off but the stamping won't you can see that's for metric and then you got all the sizes for SAE or inch or American I wish I knew where it was made it doesn't say it doesn't say where it's made anywhere I mean it says United States but that's for the patent there uh, so who knows where it's made hopefully it's made in the US but I don't know there's nothing to indicate anywhere where it's made anyway let's see what else we got all right how about some more Honda specialty tools in this case we got a couple of oil deflectors now you probably if you've watched all my videos you've seen I have a blue one like this that works for older Accords um, but I had a newer pilot in the other day and when I did the oil change it made an absolute mess and that's where these deflectors come in you put them under there and when you take the uh, oil filter off the oil hits this and then drains into your um, drain pan instead of getting all over the place uh, this one right here says 2001 and newer Acura MDX 99 and newer Odysseys 2003 and newer pilots 2006 and newer Ridge lines so this is gonna work you know anywhere from the early 2000s to uh, 2012 2013 right in that area and then this one oh did I give you the part number where is the part number there's that big long number right there that ends in 34 that's gonna be your part number right there um, this should be made in USA it doesn't say it anywhere on there but I believe it is this one here's your part number right there and ends in 49 clearly made in USA this is another deflector I went ahead and ordered them both you can see what this one looks like this is a red one so I got a blue a gold and a red one now um, doesn't say on here what they're for so I went ahead and wrote it down also for Odyssey pilot and Ridgeline and you can see uh, Odyssey 13 to 17 pilot 16 to 18 Ridgeline 17 to 18 you can see this is for newer ones um, but it sucks when they make a mess now while I was looking for these I saw this and it's a big old uh, fender cover with Honda on it let me get it out of this plastic here all right there you can see what it looks like Honda logo very nice heavy-duty uh, vinyl it's got a texture on the back 
And this is like weeded, uh, weighted beads up here. That's what that feels like. So you can just put it up over the fender right there and represent Honda. I'm working a lot of Hondas, so I thought that'd be cool. I didn't need this. That was just, I threw that in the cart when I was buying those. Just for the heck of it, I thought it'd be cool. But anyway, another fender cover. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, up next, we got a valve core tool. This is from Slime, uh, the Pro Series. Ooh. Part number 20457. You can see it comes with our uh, valve core tool plus a couple of free valve cores there. Where is it made? Made in China. Eh, let's get it open. Uh, this one is cool because it has a, it's like a torque wrench, a mini torque wrench built in there for the proper torque when you tighten these things up so you don't over tighten them. All right, now that's out of the packaging, you can see that's what it looks like. That's how long it is. Um, this cap comes off and then you can just you can put those in there and store them in there. That's kind of nice. That way you got them handy and you won't lose them. Looks like it'll hold about four or five. Um, now this one is TPMS safe. Here's a TPMS sensor right here. Um, older styles, this groove was a little bit deeper. And so you could push down a little bit further um, and get in there more. And potentially you could damage these sensors. And you don't want to do that, obviously. Or you'd be Not only you'll be replacing this, but you'll be replacing the sensor and having to take the tire off the rim so you definitely don't want to do that um, now I was I I uh, took this out of the package already I put it back in just for the video but I took it out because I wanted to use it I was working on the the hot rod I mentioned earlier I was working on it and I had to replace you know the valve core on it and I was like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna use my new little torque tool and sure enough the only drawback of having something this long is the center cap was right in the way so there's no way I could get this in there to remove it so I couldn't even use this I had to go with my old tool the little short one you know and just take it in and out like that which it worked fine um, but that's just one thing when you have a long tool like that you got to remember center caps might get in your way well hey while we're here why don't we just drop this in and see if it works there's no valve in there Make sure we get it on there properly. Tighten it up. Right there, there's our click. Can't over tighten it. I like it. Looks like, whoops, looks like I dropped it. There was no damage until I dropped it. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, there she is. I went and returned all my jack stands back to Harbor Freight and I got money on a on their little gift card and this is what I bought I bought the Daytona 3 ton heavy duty this is the low profile and long reach that's what I wanted the long reach I was working on a Civic the other day and this was just not quite long enough I needed one a little bit longer and so that's why I got this one and this one is a little bit lower right there um, now this one this one is very close to this but it's slightly lower um, but we don't have the length on this one and so that's where this one fills the gap between those two and that we got a longer uh, and lower profile so that's why I got it um, this is the DS300 LRB this is the black so the B at the end is going to be um, for the black one um, but I've been really happy with this and this should be hopefully the same or similar quality as this one right here they do have some cheaper ones. This was like 200 bucks, and so was that one. They do have jacks in the you know 100 to 130 dollar range. I don't know the quality of those, but I believe you know these are going to be the equivalent up in, when you get in the 200 dollar range. Um, and so that's why I got this one. And as you can see, or maybe you can't, this one's made in China. All right, there you go. There's all three next to each other. Now I went ahead and. Uh, bled the jack according to the instructions so it's all ready to go uh, and you can see it's a little bit lower it's a little bit longer um, the pad right there is a little bit smaller than that one I think that's to get into tighter areas um, but other than, other than that it's very similar to the other Daytona um, but it does have this little foot pedal here you can raise it up just like that obviously we can lower it like normal um, and then it's a rapid pump so you can uh, you know when you 
like I, I can't do it all the way holding the camera but uh, just uh, like three or four pumps and it'll be all the way up which is kind of nice well there you go hope you enjoyed another tool video and as always if the video helped you out if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching